we turn to our medical expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell. You know, before we get to some things that can protect your child, what are some of the common things that you see that would cause something like that tragic situation to happen? Fortunately, we only see about 100 sudden deaths uh -huh. in young athletes world uh, US wide during right. the year and one of the most common things is something called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy it's a situation where the heart muscle becomes very thick it accounts for about 50 percent of cases of sudden death in athletes and other things are other uh, congenital abnormalities such as uh, some abnormal heart uh, uh, function and also um, abnormal blood supply to the heart as well as some other genetic disorders that can play a role here so I have a 14 year old daughter who plays high school basketball. What are some things that I can look for as a parent that I say, oh, well, maybe that's a warning sign. One of the most important things you can do is talk to your child. If they have chest pain, shortness of breath, and one of the more important signals is if they pass out during exertion, then that's very, very concerning. If you have a history of premature death of young people in your family, I think that that's also something that you've got to talk to your pediatrician about. So the first thing that really ran through my mind when we started talking about this story was, you know, you get that initial physical as an athlete, and then I thought, wow, if I can take it to the next step, maybe that's going to cost too much money. My insurance won't cover it. But you told me there is a really good and economical alternative or a way that you can check your child. So in Europe, every school athlete has to have a history, a physical exam, and an electrocardiogram to measure heart rhythm and look at the, the heart from a tracing from the chest. In the U.S., the American College of Cardiology recommends that we only do a history and physical exam. There's actually a study that came out last year that showed that if we do EKG in addition to history and physical exam, we significantly increase the number of cases that we catch before something bad happens. We may see changes in the guidelines right. here in the U.S. in the coming years. If that EKG is abnormal, you may need something called an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of the heart muscle. And the EKG, I want to make this point, it's what, about 50 bucks? It's about $50, and it's something that you need to talk to your pediatrician about. If you have right. some of those high-risk features, then they're probably going to want to order that EKG. For, for sure, and, you know, no amount of money is worth absolutely you know, not health. great information right thank there. you very sir. timely dr kevin campbell with us we always appreciate it and if you have a question for dr kevin campbell you can ask him it's easy just log on to our website hit up wncn.com sir links that we mentioned is what you'll search from there you're going to find dr campbell's website or you can like his facebook page or twitter he is very accessible we'll throw it over to the weather center now.